Good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here, and welcome back, guys, to the daily cryptocurrency market update. If you are finding yourself on the channel for the first time today, do consider becoming a subscriber because we drop an update just like this one every single day at 1 p.m. UK time to help you guys step to date with the latest and greatest things happening within the crypto space, but also the broader markets. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing in this video. I don't even know where to begin this video because of what's taken place over the past 24 hours. The SEC's Twitter account got hacked and a apparently false announcement of an ETF approval was given. So we are going to be looking at this. We know today, according to BlackRock, according to CNBC, was supposed to be the day of an official approval for the Bitcoin spot ETF. However, I wonder if what's taken place with the SEC's Twitter account getting hacked apparently they didn't even have two-factor authentication on their twitter account which seems a little bit strange um i wonder how that's going to affect and and and, and sort of change things in regards to the announcement that was supposed to be taking place today so we are going to be looking at that we'll be looking at the series of events that have taken place the tweet that was allegedly false they also tweeted btc with a dot uh, a full stop at the end of it and then of course gensler the sec came out and said this was an unauthorized tweet and we'll look at some hot takes on this whole thing. You know, people perhaps saying that a lot of things don't add up uh, potentially. And it's very interesting because that tweet essentially caused a lot of volatility in Bitcoin and caused, I think it was over $200 million in liquidations to take place. So the SEC, who's all about non-manipulation, even though the real plan is to give it to their um, pals to manipulate, you know, actually manipulating and causing uh, some pretty catastrophic price action. And there's been a number of these that have taken place. Cointelegraph talking about an ETF approval that was false. Matrix Port saying that there was absolutely not going to be one. And now the SEC themselves uh, essentially manipulating the price, perhaps unknowingly based on the hack, or maybe there's some sort of deeper insight to be had here. Then, of course, we'll be going over to the charts. You know, Bitcoin, in my opinion, still looks very healthy. So does the entire crypto space. We have looked at the possibility of a buy the rumor, sell the news event that's occurring around about the $48,000 mark for Bitcoin, which essentially, if we did get that take place, which I'm sure some people would be a little bit uneasy with, that could potentially set us up for that further continuation for Bitcoin that could give us a projection to around about the $140,000, $150,000 mark, which would be absolutely spectacular and very much give us a technical pattern just like we had that took us to $42,000 um, that can now take us uh, significantly higher and actually kind of fits in with our broader narrative that we are now in a bull market, not just in a crypto internal sense, but in a kind of macro sense. Stock market is likely going to do very well. Gold um, and quite a few other things. We're even seeing the turn on housing uh, and even bonds, which is rather um, interesting. So let's get into it all, guys. Let's start things off with, of course, the tweet, the false tweet from the SEC. And it reads, today, the SEC grants approval for Bitcoin ETFs for listings on all registered national security exchanges. The approved Bitcoin ETFs will be subject to ongoing surveillance and compliance measures to ensure continued investor protection. Um, it then goes on to say there's a little sort of, um, I guess, picture of Gary Gensler saying today's approval enhances market transparency and provides investors with efficient access to digital asset investments within a regulatory framework. Then very shortly after Gary Gensler himself came out and said the SEC Gov's Twitter account was compromised and an unauthorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listings and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products. Okay, very interesting. Also, you had the SEC coming out themselves and saying the SEC Gov X account was compromised and an unauthorized post was posted. The SEC has not approved the listings and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products. During the course of this whole shenanigan, there was in the past 24 hours, $224 million worth of liquidations in the past 24 hours. Um, and likely a lot of those caused by the lack of security behind the SEC's account. It's crazy to me that Twitter actually came out and said the SEC didn't even enable two-factor authentication. Seems a little bit suspect. It seems very well timed, all of this, considering the ETF was supposed to be approved today. Has this put a hold on things potentially? 
Uh, we'll look at the price of Bitcoin in a second because it, again, still looks healthy, still looks good. We're still expecting that further continuation across the board. Um, let's dive into a little bit of some takes on this. We're going to go and start out with our buddy over at uh, the Crypto Sniper. Of course, Mr. Francis Hunt. This is his take on the whole matter. The degree of gamification going on here referred the ETF for Bitcoin is probably a planned event. It's beyond laughable, perfectly setting for leveraged retail to stump up cheap Bitcoin on dip spikes to institutional buyers. It doesn't go, it doesn't do the legacy of process many favors. By the way, X is part of it all. Potentially, you know, a little bit of a segue here. I don't think Elon Musk is the savior that people paint him out to be. Um, if you look at who's on the board of Twitter, if you look, let's not go down that rabbit hole. But anyway, so the, S the, the US Securities and Exchange Commission said it had not yet granted approval of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, despite a post on X that appeared from the regulatory's office account. So it was from the regulator's account. It just wasn't perhaps... Um, the regulators themselves doing it. Apparently, allegedly, it was hacked. Again, all very convenient. This is Cameron Vinkelvas. Today, the SEC showed what it does best, manipulate markets and hurt US investors. <laughs> okay. And this is a tweet from Adam Cottram. Um, actually, a great guy to follow. I don't agree with all the takes he has, but I do think he's well worth a follow. You know, he, he in my opinion, dropped some great insights onto the whole thing. So my guess is that the SEC account was both hacked and that the tweet was real. Hmm, interesting. So hackers first tweeted and then deleted just a ticker, which was the BTC thing, which you can see down here. This was the first tweet that took place and then they deleted it. Um, then likely found the tweet with the announcement graphic and Gensler quoted in a draft folder. So you can draft tweets essentially ready to release when you want to. SEC wouldn't get date wrong and, tick and tweet only ticker and like meme responses to approve. So hacker wouldn't be someone to meticulously plan and prepare a graphic that is in the style of the SEC itself and also be dumb enough to just tweet a ticker like it's me like it's a meme. So both things are true and the approval announcement is lined up. So essentially what Adam's saying here is that this was a drafted tweet perhaps ready for today that the hacker basically brought forward. You know, so he's saying they, they obviously got into the account, they tweeted BTC with a dot and then they deleted it and went, oh, hang on, there's a folder here with drafted tweets and perhaps this one was prepared. So there's nothing perhaps evidence-based in regards to concrete evidence. This is speculation. Um, but the whole thing just doesn't add up. It's, it, it's rather silly, actually, the whole thing. And again, a great example of the SEC shortcomings. They are not protecting crypto investors. It's that simple. They're saying they're protecting you they totally 100% enabled Sam Bankman Freed. We're going to be doing a video where we're going to be putting to bed the whole Binance thing and how they literally did a hostile takeover on Binance and put their own individual or somebody that they're okay with, that's been okay by the powers that be in the helm. And, and that isn't a, a dig at the CEO, of, the new CEO of Binance. I've heard he's doing an exceptional job and I've heard a lot of um, reputable people speak very highly of him. So, a lot of uncertainty around this whole thing. Um, one reason we champion technical analysis is because we really don't, it's, it's, it's interesting, we look at it, of course it's a factor, but our ultimate opinion and, and decisions based on the market are all technically driven. And this is a beautiful chart. This is, I've got to say, we were one of the first people through the door on the 5th of January back when Bitcoin was around the 16, 17,000 mark. And we were even looking earlier based on a bullish divergence at um, the potential of a, a change in trend, which has been very accurate. Since then, we've gone on. We've got to our $42,000 target where we've consolidated, set up a continuation pattern. The target for that continuation pattern perhaps hasn't quite been met, but it's not far off. And ultimately, this is very healthy. So we looked at this buy the rumor, sell the news thing, causing what could be a right shoulder to the left shoulder and the head, which then could set us continuation pattern up to around about the 150K range. We'll have to draw this a lot more accurately. And this could be playing out as we speak. You know, you've ran into resistance. If we drop down the time frame slightly, you can see where Bitcoin's ran into resistance. Uh, let's remove what could be a potential neckline and get rid of some of these drawers and just focus on what we've got. You can see where Bitcoin's ran into resistance. 
very obvious having a little bit of a pullback now this could likely be playing out we'll see what comes over the next couple of weeks i'm going to be and am exceptionally interested to see how the sec now moves forwards um with this it kind of casts a bit of a doubt on them of actually approving it today perhaps because of what took place yesterday it all seems a little bit silly there'll be a lot of internal conversations going on um, but generally the market is, it, it, we still think is in a really healthy place. We think, you know, the crypto across the board has broken out uh, and we are in a period where we expect to see, despite a Bitcoin ETF approval, uh, the likes of altcoins actually do rather well. You know, this is something that we've been tracking. You can see breakout coming back for a retest. Do we now get this continuation with the kind of green light for the crypto space? at a perfect time. Lots of key levels coming into play. The last thing that I want to love and leave you on is a little bit of interesting news that we reported on over at allincrypto.com. Uh, lots of people missed this, but Berkshire Hathaway Speciality Insurance essentially has now adopted blockchain. Now, Berkshire Hathaway owned by Warren Buffett or, or certainly founded by Warren Buffett and he's a large shareholder in it. Um, I think the largest shareholder in it. He essentially has decided that they want to move forward and integrate blockchain technology into its operations um we've done a whole report on this and i'll leave a link to this in the description but very interesting that warren buffett's berkshire hathaway is now using blockchain considering how outspoken he's been against bitcoin uh, and actually this is one reason we've largely disagreed with the bitcoin maxis and said they don't know what they're talking about you know they i agree with them in one part in the sense that bitcoin is very special superior as a store of value in the crypto space and there's lots of imitators that just simply aren't it and you can be a maximalist from that point of view but to honestly look at anything else that uses distributed ledger technology that isn't Bitcoin and call it a shitcoin is just simply naive and ignorant uh, and arrogant, to be quite honest, and more importantly, wrong. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I've got for you in this video, guys. Exceptionally interesting 24 hours. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll keep you up to date with it all. We'll also help you figure out where the markets are moving. And on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Have a wonderful Wednesday, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.